Hi guys, it's Dan Braun again for Keltec. Today, we're going to be talking about the power vent cap. Now, when you get it, the first piece is this motorized piece. It has a weatherproof box. I've removed the cover just to show you. Wires are inside. There's two blacks and a ground. So you have your L1, L2 power hooked to either one of the black wires. It doesn't matter which is which. The motor only goes one direction. Okay? Now, when you look at it here, this part with the fan will be blowing out of the kiln. It mounts inside the kiln on up around the opening using this flange. We use this as a wall. And it will go up like that. So it's an open end. If the motor quits, it falls shut. And that is the exhaust fan. That will be mounted on the kiln side wall, blow out of the kiln. On the opposite wall, fans blow to, you will mount this shutter. It can be mounted on the inside or the outside, but it needs to be mounted so that it opens to the inside and will fall closed. So if you're putting it on the inside of the kiln, this flange will go up like that. If you're mounting it on the outside, you turn it around, this flange will have an inset into the wall. But either way, it's mounted so it falls close. I would like to point out, when you're doing any field wiring for these kilns, only stranded wire. In other words, no solid core wire, Romex, that type of thing, is suitable for use. It may violate electrical codes and cause an insurance company to cancel your insurance. If you have any questions or comments, email me at the email address below. If you have any other things you want to mention, let me know. I'm glad to hear about it and you have yourself a great day.